A cow in Turkey, also known as a turducken, has been given virtual reality glasses to help reduce its anxiety and produce more milk. Also, it was reported that a farmer in Russia has done the same thing, but I'm not stupid enough to make fun of the Russians on this platform. The farmer said the two test cows responded well to wearing VR headsets and listening to classical music. I love how the farmer's main measurement of how much the cows were enjoying the Mutaverse was how much milk they were producing. Also, what about the clowns that aren't into classical music and prefer the experimental vibes of the insane clown posse? Love it. Probably what the cows are seeing while wearing the headsets. I think it's more likely they'll be playing Beat Saber like the rest of us. The cows wearing headsets produced an additional five litres of milk than those who could see they were living in cages and were, quote, calmer. Whoever wrote this article missed out on a big opportunity here to say that the cows were in a much better mood. Oh, fuck off. Just for ease, I'm going to refer to the non-VR cows as cows and the VR cows as the meta herd from this point on. Now, here's the issue. Some people think it's exciting to try a new method of farming, which could not only improve the quality of milk, but the quality of life for the cow, as the meta herd doesn't know that they're living in a cage. They think they're in a lovely big field. Others think this is horrible animal abuse and it should be stopped before we start putting VR headsets on goats to improve goat's milk and goat's cheese. I mean, to be fair, goat's cheese couldn't taste much worse, so might as well give it a go. It's a weird one because we're both running out of land and as much as shouty vegans are really convincing meat eaters to give up their bacon, no really, keep shouting at us and telling us we're monsters. It really helps change hearts and minds. But still, overwhelmingly, people seem to enjoy meat and milk. However, in my opinion, most of the excited Silicon Valley arguments seem to forget the reason why cows are probably anxious in the first place. Could it be because they're being forcibly impregnated, having their children stolen, and then being kept in unnatural, uncomfortable conditions? Who knows? Zuckerberg recently looked in the headsets and was quoted as saying, you can fit so much animal cruelty in these things. The same farmer has now ordered 10 more headsets, nine for his cows and one for himself. And it was written off as a business expense. For me, at first glance, it's just weird. Not least of all, because for some reason, this cow is hogging two VR headsets. Who does that? Unless you're this guy, it's not needed. It just feels like a way to increase the efficiency of exploiting cows and brings forward a whole new meaning to the phrase milking them for all they're worth. It also feels like a Matrix reboot, only this time it stars cows. The Mootrix, if you will. Putting aside all jokes here, this is all fun and games until we remember what Facebook or Meta is doing. Their plan is simple. Right now, a lot of people aren't spending as much time as they'd like on Facebook because it lives in their phones. So by putting them in VR or making them wear shitty glasses, it takes them out of the real world and places them firmly in a space owned and controlled by Mark Zuckerberg. If you go back over this video and replace any mention of cows with the two-legged livestock that Zuckerberg has made billions off, it becomes a lot less funny and a lot more real. If we look at this in isolation and we pretend that we're not next, this is the fourth industrial revolution, where milk is going directly into a meta store, where beef is going to have to be labelled as virtually free range, and where meta will lobby farm regulatory agencies to change the definition of grass-fed to include virtual grass. It's another example of animals testing products intended for humans. You'd think it would be cheaper to just give the cows the space they need to roam, but land is not an infinite resource and we are running out of it. And winters in Russia are fucking cold. I'm not a cow, but I don't want to spend my winters in the middle of a Russian field. No offense, Putin. It's currently Veganuary and activists are telling farmers to give their animals a life. Farmers seem to have found a loophole. The irony here is that the cow's favorite game here is Farmville. Animals need to be relaxed. Sure, I'm on board with that. I don't know anyone who wouldn't be. But this is utterly ridiculous. And personally, I can't wait for Clarkson to try it on his next series of The Farm. What do you think? Do you like this? Do you think it's a bad idea? Do you think it's a good first attempt, but you can see a better way of doing it? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And Godspeed. I'll see you all in the next one.